I'm leaving Las Vegas. Golden Nugget, goodbye. Headed to Zion National Park. Can't wait to get out of this concrete jungle and be back into nature. See you guys in Zion. I have made it to Zion National Park. It is literally 102 degrees. I have made a great decision to wear this long sleeve black shirt to go hike down to the water here. But um, unfortunately they don't have any campsites available here. This is the first trail I've gone down and it is absolutely incredible. I thought I was hiking down to the water but apparently there's no water. Here we go. Look at this spot. I don't want to fall off of here. That would suck. But it's like a little slot canyon. I could light paint down in there. So many amazing places in here to light paint. Wow. That's a really cool spot right down in there. I'm going to hike down into there. Now how cool would this place be? Right in there. It would. The edges of the slot canyon would catch those reflections and the light bouncing so incredibly well. What a cool spot. Wow. The rocks here, they're all like these really cool like river rocks. They're all just water worn and eroded down. But, so that's kind of stuff you want to look out for when you're scouting locations during the day and light painting. Like this area is really cool, but all these rocks at nighttime would be an absolute nightmare. And again, I'm down here in a canyon, not that far off the road, but it's still, you know, you twist your ankle down in here by yourself and you're pretty screwed to climb. All right, so the battery died there on this guy, my little vlogging camera, and I didn't bring another one, of course. But what I was saying was, is that this is the climb back out. While it's not a crazy, you know, climb where you need a rope or something, if you were to get down in there and twist your ankle on one of those rocks, if I was to be down there and twist my ankle on one of those rocks where there's no cell phone service and no one knows where I am, uh, I mean, that could be a bad situation. I wouldn't want to climb up and out. It's actually that way. I wouldn't want to have to climb up and out with a busted ankle. So we'll see. But anyway, just something to keep in mind. When you're out scouting locations, looking to light paint, keep in mind, you know, the ground and just, you know, your safety. Always let someone know where you're at. Uh, I unfortunately don't have any cell phone service, but maybe I'll get to a spot where I do and then I'll tell someone, hey, this is where I'm planning to be. And if you don't show up for a couple days, someone <laughs> might come look for you. I'm gonna keep exploring, keep looking around, see if I find anything else that I like better. But I really do like that spot. There are a ton of locations here. So you're gonna be asking yourself, what the hell is this setup, right? So there are, there are tunnels that you go through here in Zion. And I just got the idea to try to do some daytime light painting by using a form of kinetic light painting where the car is gonna be moving through the tunnel as I'm shooting a long exposure. So all I did was I used my little gorilla pod there and I'm setting the camera up with the, it's the Canon 6D Mark II, 24 to 105. I'm gonna push in a little bit on the lens so I'm not all the way wide. All right, so what I did here was, I just zoomed in enough to get the car out of the frame, which again, I'm probably at like maybe 60 millimeters or something like that. I'm gonna shoot F22, ISO 100, and go through the tunnel and just see what we get. Plan, going on to Bryce Canyon, it's only an hour and 20 minutes from here. I drove through, I didn't realize that you just drive right through Zion, and I ended up on the other side of it. I have a reservation for two nights camping in Bryce, just not tonight. Uh, tomorrow and the next day, I already have a reservation to camp and got my campsite set up. So I'd really like to get there and kind of just get settled in, be able to really explore the park, 
check it out and then find some cool stuff to light paint. I did kind of fall in love with that one little slot canyon back there. And like I said, worst case scenario, if I don't find anything good up here, I can drive back, but we shall see. But moving on, going on to Bryce National Park. There's a bunch of buffalo. I'm gonna pull over here and see the buffalo like all the other tourists. Decided to leave Zion because there was no campsites available. Um, headed to Bryce, um, which I have a reservation for tomorrow and the next night. But I pulled in here and I'm just outside of Bryce and this place is called Red Canyon Campground. And I pulled in here and they have a site available. So it worked out perfect. This is where I'm camping tonight and uh, I'm gonna explore this whole area. You can see the beautiful red rock structures all through the canyon so glad i kept on going again trusting that internal voice telling me hey this isn't the spot to keep going i kept going end up here at the spot i'm supposed to be at with a perfect little area to light paint in right outside of the bryce canyon and it's 20 degrees cooler so couldn't ask for more you want to see what an epic view looks like check this out I thought it was gonna be just flat and easy, but uh, I hiked this trail all the way up to here. And uh, again, I really gotta rethink my hiking shoes, but look at this, man. What a view. Where I'm at currently and where that really epic view is up there is right behind the Red Rock Visitor Center. There's all these really nice trails and I think I'm probably gonna shoot here tonight because there's just so many good spots. There's that one spot that's way up there, way up top there. It's hard to see from here, but it's like right up there. You can hike up to that spot right there and you get a really good view of all the red rock formations and canyons and all that really cool stuff. I also wanna do one of the illuminated beings sitting right here on this bench. It'll have this really cool background of the canyon as well. If you've been following the vlog or if you're just paying attention, you'll notice that I've been creating a lot of new illuminated beings on this trip. And the reason that I'm creating the new illuminated beings on this trip is that maybe you're aware of this, maybe you're not. Recently, I had my very first ever light painting NFT drop with Theta, sold out in 25 minutes. Thank you very much to everyone, much appreciated. But that drop was called Illuminated Beings. There were eight original Illuminated Beings in that drop, each of different rarities. What I'm gonna be doing with the new Illuminated Beings that I'm creating on this trip that you guys have probably been seeing in the vlogs and posted on my social media, I will be airdropping those to holders of two illuminated beings. The way it's gonna work is two numbers will be drawn at random. So for instance, let's say it's number four and seven. If you hold illuminated being four and seven in your wallet and it's not listed for sale, you'll receive the airdrop of one of the new illuminated beings that I've created on this trip so far. And so that is what I'll be doing with those new illuminated beings. They will be airdropped to holders of two illuminated beings on lightpainting.thetadrop.com. If you don't already collect those, please go check them out. And if you get two, you will have an opportunity to receive one of the ones that I've created on this trip as an airdrop just for holding two of the original eight illuminated beings. This is another thing I think I'm gonna shoot tonight. I'm just gonna do some light painting. And all I'm gonna do is illuminate these two rocks. So my plan is to light paint these two rocks. Just literally light painting. That is projecting light into the scene using the color hoods to illuminate those rocks. And then I'll go up there and create that illuminated being on the bench with that background. And then probably call it a night. I've been driving for several hours today. How the hell do I get out of here? I've been driving a bunch today. I'm tired. You can probably see it in my eyes. 
I've been in Vegas for a week with that chaos and uh, hopefully I get a good night's sleep tonight. But anyway, that's the plan. Gonna be a full moon tonight, or almost full anyway, in this wonderfully beautiful, magical, special, enchanting location. First shot of the night is gonna be this bench with the illuminated being sitting on it. I'm gonna shoot one of those and then also I might illuminate this trail a little bit as well, kind of leading up to him. I love the scene. Camera that I'm shooting with is the Canon 6D Mark II with the Rokinon 14 millimeter manual lens. Again, manual is important so I can change the aperture during the exposure. The settings I'll start with are ISO 100 F22 for the illuminated being. Then I'll come over here to the lens and open the aperture all the way up to 2.8 to allow the scene to burn into that single image. So I will be shooting two different apertures during this one single exposure. The first settings are going to be ISO 100 F22 to create the illuminated being on the bench here. And then I'm just going to switch all the way to 2.8, still at ISO 100, 2.8 to allow the scene to burn in behind the illuminated being. The tools that I'm using to create the illuminated being is just simply the opaque light writer. I'm going to use a couple different colors. Uh, this one is orange. I'm going to try a couple different colors. I think orange will work best for this. Uh, the other thing that I'll be using is the universal connector, as always, to connect the Soon Fire DS30 to the opaque light writer. To illuminate the scene a little bit, I'm using the color hood, and I will just be using the same corresponding color hood to illuminate the scene. Again, universal connector, and this time connected to the uh, Coast G26 flashlight. shot I was going for were two illuminated beings sitting out here talking about the NFT project uh, that's what I had in my head anyway that one came out it looks like I met Bigfoot in the woods and I'm trying to tell him about my uh, light painting NFT project on Theta I'm going with it I'm keeping that one I think it looks fun and cool so uh, that's the one and now I'm gonna move on down the trail here to those two big rocks and just try to do some uh, light painting on those using the color hoods i'll talk more about it when i get down there but wrapping this one up here illuminated being talking to bigfoot second location now with the big rocks right behind me um just light painting those using the color hoods i'm using the orange and yellow color hoods just to illuminate the rocks settings are iso 100 f 5.6 then opening up to 2.8 to allow the sky to burn in I'm shooting on a fluorescent white balance, so I get a really blue sky. So that orange and blue, I think, work really well together. And that is why I am orange and blue. It's kind of orange and blue in the shot right now. And that's why I'm using a fluorescent white balance. Almost every time I shoot outside, I use a fluorescent white balance because it gives like this bluish purple hue to the sky. Um, I really like that and I like it in a lot of my work and you'll see it in a lot of my work. Now I'm just gonna light paint the rocks and see what we get. So I just had this little spark of inspiration, this bush here. I'm gonna to try to create the burning bush from the Bible. So uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and use the black fiber optic with a do-it-yourself screw-on color filter. And in that filter, I've got some red, orange, and yellow gels, and that is going to create this fiery effect. So I'm gonna run the black fiber optic through the bush and maybe light up the rocks and stuff behind. I'm gonna work it out here, and then I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Wrapping up the vlog from last night because I realized I didn't do it. A um, couple things. I was going to stay in Zion National Park, but there were no campsites available. So I decided to head to Bryce because there was supposed to be one left. And on the way there, just outside of Bryce, I found this campground, Red Rock Canyon, which is amazing. Right next to these awesome formations. There's a bunch of really nice trails right behind the visitor center. And that's where I shot last night. Felt like I got a couple good ones. The illuminated bean came out pretty cool. I tried to do two that were like sitting there talking to each other, but it turned out to kind of look like uh, one illuminated being was talking to a Bigfoot he met. That's what it seemed like to me. So I just said, you know what? That one's good. That's the keeper. Went on to illuminate the rocks. Got the idea of that burning bush, which I think came out really cool. That's probably my favorite image of the night. And then um, I shot some light writing and one of my shattered world images, created an orb and just did that stuff because the background was so cool. Uh, Shattered Worlds is another one, another series I'm working on, so I was happy with the way that one came out. I thought a couple of those uh, tunnel shots came out pretty cool, where I hooked up the camera to the car as a form of kinetic light painting, following up on uh, the all the light painting that I did in Las Vegas with the camera motion. The way I used the camera motion this time was I attached it to the car and drove through a tunnel. So I thought those came out pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys those, and uh, but that's it. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. Again, wrapping up the next day for me, same time for you, hopefully, um, and uh, headed to Bryce Canyon, and that'll be it. So you guys got any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. If you liked the video, please do give me the thumbs up down below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.